All right, this morning we're going to show you how to pair an R1 to a Windows 10 tablet uh, and set it up to output NEMA to a third party application. I'm going to start off by going to the Start menu, Settings, and what we want here is Bluetooth. And I want to check the Bluetooth menu here. And I'm looking for my R1, which is this GNSS52188, ready to pair. I'm going to pair it up. All right, it's thinking. All right, we're connected. So now I'm going to run a program called call an app. It's a GNSS status by Tremble. I'm running the latest version for Windows 10. I uh, have it right here. This is going to connect up. First thing we need to do is select a new receiver. I'm going to choose my R1 and hit those cables. I'll give it a second here to connect. Here we go. First thing I want to do is set up my real time because I want this to have submeter corrections in the field with the R1. So I'm going to choose, in this case, SBAS. I'm going to save that out. Now we'll go to NEMA. And first time you run NEMA, this is what I'm going to apply to output NEMA on a, on a specific COM port. So you choose the NEMA sentences you want. I'm going to pick GGA, GLL, we'll just say GSA. I'm going to apply it to receiver. When I do this, it's going to ask you to select a COM port. So in this case, I'm going to choose SPP1, and they have been applied to that receiver. So now I'm just going to go back to the home button. We're just going to disconnect that R1. Okay, now this is the most important part. Start settings, um, devices again back to Bluetooth if we scroll to the bottom on this Windows 10 they have more Bluetooth options it comes up with this new tab here Bluetooth settings I'm gonna choose COM ports and it assigns all these different COM ports we are looking for my R1 outgoing and you can see here COM 37 is that outgoing GNSS on COM 1 so the COM 37 is what I'm gonna use in my third-party application just going to cancel that. And in this case, my third party application is going to be Esri's ArcPad. And the reason I'm using this is because they make it really easy to see the uh, NEMA sentences. It's kind of like a, the old hyper terminal software Microsoft used to have back in Windows XP. So I'm going to go to GPS preferences here in ArcPad. And I'm going to set that com up. I already forgot the com. I guess it was com 37. I could hit the look the find button and it would find it as well. We'll go back here. So we'll, we'll choose com 37. I'm going to click on OK. And now I'm going to use the GPS rangefinder debug. It's going to ask to activate. This will show up with a black screen. Anything in green means we're good and we're outputting. So there you can see my GGA, my GSA, and my GLL uh, NEMA sentences. So for me, this verifies that we are working, um, outputting NEMA via the R1 to a Windows 10 tablet. In this case, I'm running a Microsoft Surface Pro. So if I was running uh, any third-party application that required NEMA, this is how I would do it. Thank you.